hello and welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about the pathways for acca members to become cpa so if you're an acca member or if you're a member of um, any other professional accounting body that does not have a mutual recognition agreement with cpa canada so i'm going to be going through the process for you to become a member of the cpa okay so let's start by looking at the cpa website and so prior to now so i said april 30th 2021 if you had your acca membership you can automatically become a cpa member right you can just submit your application to become a cpa member but the mutual recognition agreement came to an end in april 30th 2021 so only those who already submitted their application before this time had the opportunity of becoming a member of the cpa okay so um but now the agreement is no longer in place and if you have your acca membership and you want to become a cpa you have to go through a different pathway and this also applies to you know people that have other professional accounting designation so we are going to be going through the process okay so if you see right here it says notice this mra has expired okay like i said it expired in april 30th 2021 so you can just say because you have your acca member you'll be automatically admitted as a member of cpa that is no longer in place but for some other professional body, they still have the MRA in place, like um, India, Pakistan, and some um, Ireland. So they still have their uh, mutual recognition agreement in place with CPA Canada. But for ACCA, you can see the um, mutual recognition agreement has expired and it is no longer in place. Okay. So now, what is the way or what is the pathway for those who have their ACCA membership? to become a member of the CPA. So all hope is not lost. If you did not meet the April 30th, 2021 deadline, you still have a pathway to membership in CPA. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the ways for um, those with their ACCA membership or other accounting body outside Canada to become CPA. Okay, let's go right into it so for accounting bodies outside canada like if you're in nigeria for instance if you have your ICANN or if you have your acca from the uk and you want to become a cpa member in canada what do you have to do now that the mra is no longer in place so the first thing is that in order to qualify for registration you have to be in good standing which i assume you are in good standing so you have to be a member of a professional accounting body outside canada so we're not talking about students here we're not, we are not talking about affiliates okay you have to be a member it, it does not apply to students and affiliates okay and after that what is the next thing you have to do you have to meet the program requirement okay so as a member of an accounting body outside canada you may be eligible for the advanced standing Okay, so before now, if you had your ACCA membership, you did not have to um, write any examination, okay? But because the MRA is no longer in place, now you will be qualified for the advanced standing, okay? So And that is because you are an ACCA member. But if you don't have your ACCA membership, you will not qualify for the advanced standing. You will have to start all the modules from scratch, okay? So let's go so because you have your acca membership or your um other professional uh, membership outside of canada you will qualify for the challenge path okay so um and what do you need to be um to be able to go for this path you you need to have your university degree okay and a minimum of three years of relevant experience so once you have this requirement you'll be able to qualify for the challenge path and what is the challenge part okay so the thing is if you don't meet the requirements you have to start from the basics so you have to start from the module one two 
you know to the last module but if you have all this requirement you can go straight to the challenge path and you don't have to go through those long process anymore so what are the courses um or what are the examinations you have to take under this challenge path okay so you have to challenge the examinations of core one and core two so that like what do we mean when when, you, when we say you have to challenge the exam so you don't have to do all the modules like you don't have to take the courses you can just go straight to challenge the exam so you can go straight to prepare for the exam okay because um if you have to go through um the full path right then you have to go through the modules all the modules okay but because you're an acca member you won't have to go through that sorry you won't have to go through that pathway okay you go through the challenge um, pathway and then you just have to challenge the examination of core one and core two and then you also challenge the examinations of two elective modules and then you ch challenge the one for the capstone one capstone two and then the core one final examination so this is the process you have to go through if you have your acca membership or if you are a member of another um, accounting body outside of Canada okay so for the challenge exam you have to sit for the exam so you're only sitting for the exam you don't have to go through the eight weeks of you know courses workshop and all those stuff so what of for those who do not have their ACCA membership you would not qualify for the challenge examination if you do not have your ACCA membership you have to go through the full CPA path okay and for that you have to take the core one and core two modules and examinations in okay like i said if you're going for the challenge you don't have to do the modules you just go straight into the examinations so um that is the difference between those who have their um acm membership and those who do not so now we are talking about core one and core two what are the you know what are the courses you have to take or what are the competency areas? So for core one and two, these are what you're going to be looking at. Financial reporting, strategy and governance, management accounting, audit and assurance, finance, taxation. So these are the courses, right, that you have to cover in the examinations. Okay, and here we have the cap, um, capstone one and capstone two. I hope you can see. So that is it right there and then what is the learning format so if you're going to be going through the challenge path all you need to do is to look for you know an approved um, um body that offers you know um, examination materials all you need to do is to get the examination materials and prepare for the examination because you don't have to go through the you know workshop or through the courses this is for those who do not have their acca membership okay so because you're an ACCA member and you're going through the challenge path, you don't have to go through this. You see, approximately eight weeks of online learning. This is for those who are going through the full CPA path. That is for those who do not have the ACCA membership. They have to go through the eight weeks of online learning with weekly assignments. And they have to um, spend about 15 to 20 hours per week working on the modules okay and if they don't pass um this assignment or the learning they will not be able to write the examination but for you as an acca member because you are going through the challenge part you don't have to go through this process okay you are able to go right into the examination prepare for your examination and then challenge the examination so now if you're going to be challenging the examination or if you're going to be applying to um cpa to go through the challenge part what are the things you need right so you're going to be required to submit the following a proof of id so you have to submit proof of your id and then you have to um, submit um, your certification membership form okay so this form will be completed by the accounting body depending on the accounting body you belong to outside canada or if you cannot obtain that you have to get a letter of good standing from the accounting body okay so these are the required documents you need to be able to submit an application to apply to cpa canada 
right so you need the original letter of good standing from all professional bodies so if you are a member of more than one professional body outside canada you need to obtain a letter of good standing from all the professional bodies okay and the CPA would also require you to submit detailed chronological resume, okay, listing all your work experience. Like I said, you need a university degree and at least three years of work experience, okay, to be able to qualify for the challenge part. And also, you will need to obtain um, your credential evaluation from West. They call them the World Education Services, okay, so they need to assess your international um, transcript they need to assess your international result to be sure it meets the standard um, for cpa okay so these are the required documents that cpa will ask you to submit in order to um, be able to process your application for the challenge part okay so like i said the m the mutual recognition agreement with acca is no longer in place and now as an acca member for you to become a member of CPA or you, you need to um, submit the required application in order to qualify for the challenge part, okay? And with the challenge part, you are exempted from the modules, okay? So um, that is the current status of how ACCA members can become CPA members, okay? So I wanna thank you for watching the video today. If you have any question regarding anything I said, please put that in the comment section and I'll be able to help you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video and bye.